Uh, I'm Judge Karen Ryan, and um, I am a uh, municipal court judge here in uh, Las Cruces. Uh, I believe that I'm the best uh, qualified for this position because of my experience. Uh, I was an alternate judge for the municipal court for 14 years, and I ran a private practice uh, here on Main Street for 20 years. Uh, after that, uh, I became a uh, selected by the city council to be a, fill out Judge Locatelli's term, and then after that, I was elected uh, by the public uh, to my current term. I, uh, all in all, I've been in the municipal court for 17 and a half years, and, and so during that time period, I, I believe that gives me the experience to be the uh, presiding judge uh, in that, uh, you know, I've seen basically everything that's uh, occurred in uh, municipal court for the past 17 years. And uh, I believe that you cannot supplant experience with just the desire to be a judge. Uh, I believe that uh, my experience uh, qualifies me in that regard. Yeah, uh, for the last uh, uh, 16 years, Judge Miller Burns has been the presiding judge and she's essentially handled the authorization on the bu bu uh, budget and the policies. Uh, I've been working with her uh, on budget and policy issues over this uh, last 16 year time period. And uh, I believe that um, uh, I, I'm very familiar with the budget, very familiar with the policies of the court uh, because of my time in the court, especially after having worked there for three and a half years full time. I believe that because of my uh, understanding with the budget and the policies and wanting to continue the good job that uh, Judge Miller Burns essentially done over the last 16 years on the budget, uh, I believe that I'm the best qualified to make that seamless transition from one uh, uh, budget caretaker, if you will, to, to another. And uh, so I, I believe I'm experienced for that. I see in my courtroom every day people that struggle with mental illness. Um, I see it, as I indicate, on a daily basis. And uh, this is a real conundrum for uh, many courts and many, many systems. Uh, basically what I do is make a determination at that point if the person uh, is competent or not, or if there is an issue of competency. And what I do is I refer that to the district court, and the district court uh, has the individual meet with some uh, uh, a board certified psychiatrist to make a determination if the person is competent or not. If the uh, comes back incompetent, then uh, the district court dismisses their case in municipal court, and then, uh, then I go ahead and dismiss the case. But basically, I lose jurisdiction once it goes over to the district court. And, um, and so these are the way we handle, uh, handle that issue. Well, you know, there's so many uh, statutes uh, and ordinances uh, with the uh, city of Las Cruces. Um, a lot of them that I see involve, let's say, a topic that's come up recently are weeds. Now, it's been raining a lot here in the desert. When it rains, the weeds come. Uh, I, I've always been a proponent of the codes of enforcement to give those people a warning and say, look, just, uh, you know, clean them up in the next 10 days or so. And then, and then if they don't clean them up in 10 days, they can give them a ticket. But, you know, uh, or also uh, anything having to do with the garage sale, if they put out a sign and it's, it's not legal for them to put a sign on a street corner, okay, fine, but give them a warning, you know, because these are some of the things that, uh, you know, uh, add to the court and people have to come in and have an arraignment and so forth like that. I, I wish that would be a warning instead of a uh, ticket. But if they continue to do it, then give them the ticket, you know. These are just some minor things that we can alleviate the uh, crowds on Monday morning. Well, what I'd like to do is see more space added to the uh, municipal court or get a, a newer uh, building, you know, somewhere where we don't have the public standing in line outside on Monday morning or when the lines are really long. Uh, I think uh, if we have more space, then they can come inside, especially when it's hot. Number two, uh, I believe that the, um, I, I would like to bring back defensive driving school. Uh, essentially, a person attends that and, and if they go there and successfully complete that, then the ticket would be dismissed. I'd like to see that go, and that'll go a long way into alleviating uh, a lot of uh, crowdness down in the, the uh, municipal court as well. But um, I believe in starting on time. 
you know, I know people come there. They know the arraignments start at a certain time. They're there. I'm there, you know, and, and uh, I know they have to get to work. And so I try to move them fast and uh, forward to uh, uh, get them all out of the way.